Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to study regrouping ten tens as a hundred. Here's my first example. We're going to add these two numbers. Here's the first number, here's the second number. And as you can see, there are a lot of tens here, over here. So what happens basically is that from those tens, we can get more than ten tens. And then the ten tens make a new hundred. Let me show you. We have six here, and then if I take four tens from here and circle them, that's going to be my new hundred. And then I can read the answer here. I would have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, and then three tens, and then seven ones. But let's also write these numbers under each other here in the grid and see how the adding happens. Okay, back to the original problem I had here, 300, and then I had 6 tens and 4 ones, 364, and here 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, there was 7 tens and 3. And now when we add in columns, we add the ones, we get 7 ones. We add the tens. 6 plus 7 tens makes 13, 13 tens. And now we take 10 of those tens and regroup them as 100. And then 3 tens stay there in the tens column, okay? So 10 tens move there as 100. 10 tens make 100 and are regrouped with the other hundreds, okay? And then I add the hundreds, so I get 6 here. Let's go through this process now a few more times. First, with pictures. And then we're going to take these same problems and write the numbers under each other and regroup. Over here I have 260. And then this one here is 4, 5, 6, 74. We're going to regroup. We're going to get six tens and then four tens from there to make a new hundred. So the answer will be one, two, three hundreds, three tens here, and four. And now I'm going to write those numbers under each other, 260 and 74. And over here we add the ones first, 4, then the tens, 6 plus 7 equals 13. And so of the 13 tens, 10 tens become 100, and 3 tens stay here, and then the hundreds, 3. And now let's do this problem first with the picture, with the visual model. I have 300 and 5 tens and 6. And over here, 200, 5 tens, and 2. What happens with the tens? Can you see? 5 tens, 5 tens makes exactly 10 tens. So we get a new 100. And my answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hundreds. And no tens. And 8. And let's do the same addition over there, writing the numbers under each other. 356, 252. Okay, first add the ones, 6 plus 2. Then the tens, 5 plus 5 equals 10. So we get 10 tens. And 10 tens means we get 100. And we are left with 0 tens over here. And then the hundreds, we get six. Now let's try some addition problems without a visual model and see how it goes. First add the ones, we get five. Then the tens, one plus nine equals ten. So I write it as one here, zero here, right? Regrouping. And then over here, one plus two plus four makes seven. Pretty easy, don't you think? Then three numbers, two, plus 1, plus 4. Okay, that would be 7. And then in the tens, 5 plus 7 plus 9. 5 and 7 makes 12, 
and 12 and 9, you tell me, 21. So 21 goes like this, 2 and 1. Because of the 21 tens, 20 tens makes 2 hundreds. So the 2 hundreds get written with the other hundreds and 1 ten here. And then we have here 5, 6, 8, 800. What do you think, Matthew? He says it's pretty easy for him. Okay, good. I hope it's easy for you too. Now we're going to do a little bit of mental math. We can't forget that either. 80 plus 70. The same thing happens. We have 8 tenths and 7 tenths makes 15 tenths. More than 100, right? So what goes here? We get 8 tenths, 7 tenths, 15 tenths is the same as 150. 10 tenths and 5 tenths, 15 tenths. Now we can use this result to solve this one. 280 plus 70. These tens, the 80 and 70, make more than 100. So we will get 300 something. It will go over to the next 100 and it will go 50 over the next 100. Just like this one did. And this one too, it has the 80 and 70. So similarly, it will go 50 over the next 100. And here's 500, it will go to 650. Lastly, one of those puzzle problems again. And uh, yeah, yeah, Matthew, I'll let you do it. Yeah, I know, you've been waiting all this lesson. But before you do, I just want to tell you something. Just be careful. I think there is a regrouping involved. Okay, let's see if Matthew gets it all right or if he's going to make a blunder this time. What do you think? Okay, Matthew, I think there's something wrong. See, 6 plus 1 is not 5. Did you subtract 6 and 5? This does not work. Oh, he's, he's telling me he did it on purpose. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, try again then. See, we need to think. 6 plus something makes 15. There's a regrouping here. Okay? And this number is wrong too. So, 6... Plus what makes 15? Yeah, yeah, Matthew got it right this time. And then we get 6 there. All right. We're all done with this lesson now.